Welcome to Tranquil Beginnings TV. I'm Hilary Gilio, your pediatric sleep specialist and family coach. In today's video, we are talking about those awful early morning wakings because of a poopy diaper. They are the worst, aren't they? So I wanna give you a few tips. First of all, know that there isn't a whole lot we can do to just prevent this, right? Your child's body is their body but it can wreak havoc on sleep. And so we wanna to try to do anything we possibly can to minimize that. The first thing I wanna say is if your child eats solid foods already, experimenting with switching up what time of day you off offer certain types of food can kinda of trick the digestive system. So simply, you know, serving the types of foods you serve for dinner earlier in the day, the types of foods you serve for breakfast later in the day, sometimes that's enough. Secondarily, you can think about foods that might promote digestion or kind of slow it. So maybe don't offer blueberries at dinner time, but think about bananas and cheese and other foods that are known to kind of slow down the digestive system in hopes that they make it through the night before their next bowel movement. Another thing you can look for, especially in toddlers and a little bit older, even older infants, um, I don't know if you've ever noticed, but some kiddos have a favorite spot in the house or a favorite toy that they gravitate to when they need to go, right? It's just kind of their security and their safe spot. So if your child has a spot in the house or a teddy bear that they go near whenever they are filling their diaper, you can try to take your child to that place or to that toy at, during bedtime routine to try to encourage them to go ahead and relieve themselves before they go to bed. Now, if we're talking about a newborn, you 100% want to change their diaper during that early morning waking. They may even need a feed at that time. So go ahead and change the diaper, offer the feed if needed. If your child is, is older than that, um, we really want to avoid changing diapers all night long. So going in 4, 5, 6 a.m. and changing a diaper, if you've ever tried before, 99% positive, your child probably had a hard time going back to sleep and maybe went from a level one out of five to a level five out of five on their escalation scale the moment you changed their diaper and left the room. So really going in and intervening in those early morning hours normally doesn't help your child get back to sleep. So what we do wanna do is lather on the diaper cream thick at bedtime, always as a preventative measure. It's a barrier cream between their skin and the poop. So lather it on thick, find one that works well for your child, and then rest assured that their body will be safe until morning. Now I will say, while well, I do tell you to stay out of the room without intervention in those early morning hours, there is one caveat to that. If your child relies on a sleep prop or something external provided by you in order to get to sleep, such as a pacifier, feeding to sleep, rocking to sleep, bouncing to sleep, then do not stay out of the room that whole time. And here's the reason why. I wouldn't tell you that normally, but in this case I will. And that's because it's not fair. It is not fair to expect them to be able to put themselves back to sleep in the early mornings if they wake from going to the bathroom when they don't do it at any other time. So if that is the case, then you do need to go in and help them back to sleep. But here's the deal. <laughs> if that is your case as well, please reach out to me. We can 100% teach your child how to make that journey from awake to asleep all by themselves. So they can do that at bedtime and in the middle of the night waking. Even if they do go to the bathroom in those early morning hours, most kids are fine until we go get them up in the morning. Hope that helps. See you next time.